Hi and welcome to the workshop. Right, it's now part 13. We're going to put, put some files on here. Right, let's just move this out of the way. This is the device I'm going to use. I actually purchased this some time back actually. It's been in my collection. It's a, uh, a USB to TTL converter. Uh, I think it cost me about £3 with a mini Audrino, but you can buy these separately. They're about pound fifty, and uh, I've actually done a little drawing here. Uh, there's well, there's six connections on here, but we only use four. All right, the, the ground goes to the the ground pin here. CTS or oh, clear to send. We we're not using that. That's not used at all. Five volts obviously to the VCC up here on the board as you see the TXD goes to the one that's marked P31 RXD goes to the pin that's marked P30 and the DTR we're not using at all either Right, I'm going to swap over cameras and go to the computer and hopefully get some images of the software and just all, we, all we're going to do is pick up a pre-made hex and dump it into this machine. Uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, so we're going to do that and that's how I'll, I'll be back in the mo on a different camera. Hi and welcome back. Sorry about the, uh, the camera thing. I, I'm uh, holding the camera in my hand. I'm trying to multitask a bit. Let's just get this ready. Now what I'm going to do is hopefully dual screen and show you what I'm doing. That's the hope anyway. Well as you see I have got my wires connected apart from the black one so it's not powered these wires just go up and they plug into the dongle the uh, USB to TTL right it's not powered at the moment because I don't need it to be right. from the software I've just opened the software as you can see what we need to do is you need to change the frequency to 18432 change the board rate as well I don't like running that slow uh, the rest is actually okay. Uh, one thing I will tell you as well is I actually went to this website here which was in Chinese and found this file here which is the latest version. It's a bit more up to date than the one that's supplied from Banggood. It seems to work a bit better. It seems less quirky which is a 6.85k. That's available on this site. Uh, like I said, you you have to hover your mouse over certain things, uh, and then you get like an Englishy bit and that. But yeah, if you look around, you can find this. It's free to download. Right. Anyway, back to the program. This is uh, what my USB dongle comes out as, and it defaults as that. This is the uh, MCU type. It seems to be coming up as that. I can't remember if it did at the beginning, but if not, it's an IAP15W4K61S4. It's written on the uh, where's my phone? It's written on the top of the chip, if you need be. Right. Anyway, uh, change the board rate. Change the frequency. Open the file. Right now, I'm going to. As you can probably see, this is the thing. I'm going to go to, like I said, uh, 7 Most Functional Effects Combiner. And I'm going to open up the DIY Hex. So that's now open. And I hit Program. And it says Checking for Target MCU. It won't do anything at the moment. And if you already had it powered on, it wouldn't do anything. Because you need to power cycle. So when I hit this... You should see the program are starting to do loads of things. Okay, and there we are. 
we're fully programmed. So now we can unplug this and I will meet you on the other camera. Hello and welcome back. We're on the uh, usual camera. We've got our programmed unit here. Just find out what I've done. And the power thing, let's power it on. Let's see what the hex seven gives us. All right. Let me just turn the lighting down a bit here. Uh, I didn't want to turn it down that far. Let me uh, brighten it up a bit. Okay. Right. Uh, we've got scrolling text. Right, let's have a play with the remote. See if that does anything. If it doesn't. I don't. I don't. We do have the time and that. Oh, I hate this. You've watched this before. As you can see, we've got the time and the date on there. Right, let's see what the buttons. Zero. It's not doing anything. C. One. No. Two. Okay, two. We've got a clock. And we've got scrolling Japanese text. I'm going to try and hold this. What was that? It was number two. Number three, what's that? Just scrolling text. Okay. Number four. And we've got just some plain static graphics. I haven't found the animated ones like you see on the website yet, or in the video. Maybe it was on the default one, which I didn't find. Yeah, where was I? Let's do five, nothing. Six, nope. Seven, no. Eight, no. It may be changing this uh, Japanese text that I wouldn't know. So if I'm going to animate when you press the play button. No, it's definitely just flicking around. Okay. Hmm, that one's for setting the time again. It's just come up on the side. Don't want to do that. I've lost track of her. Okay, well it's going to be, it's got some nice scrolling text, it's got the clock and it does graphics and also nice rotating text here. I'm going to use that as a base and we're going to edit that. Obviously not in this video, in another video. Alright. Ah, look at that. Yeah, we'll uh, edit that in another video and see what we've got. Okay, many thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe.